Another important element of your digital photography is lighting. Light really controls the image. You want to know where your light's coming from and also how you can control it in your camera. We're going to take a look at lighting vocabulary to help us describe and understand light better, also ways of controlling light with the camera. There are three different conditions of light in a photograph. Directional lighting, diffuse lighting, and directional diffused. So let's take a look at these. Directional lighting is hard lighting. We can see there's really high contrast, dark, dark shadows, bright highlights. It emphasizes texture because of shadows and also really creates a lot of volume because of the shadows. The next lighting condition is diffuse light. We have soft light all over. Notice there are hardly any shadows. This creates a softened image. We don't get a lot of texture and also the volume is flattened out. The third lighting condition is a combination of these two. It's called directional diffused lighting. And we can see we are getting some directional light, we're getting diffused light, but on the subject we get a mixture of both. We have soft highlights, soft shadows, where we can still see detail. So this creates a nice combination, some modeling, some texture, and it's often the ideal lighting conditions for subjects. Your cameras all come with an on-camera flash. These do okay for snapshot situations, but really, if you're doing professional photography or professional level photography, it might not work in all situations. It's really going to flatten out details, and it also doesn't have a very far range. So if you want to take it one step further, you're going to want to work with a hot shoe flash, a flash that attaches to the hot shoe on the camera. Many of them come with adjustments so that we can point the light to bounce the light. If you need more camera control, you actually can even extend the positioning of your flash by extending it with a connector. And this way we could have a fill light coming from a different position. And we can even combine that with a two flash combo. So this would be great for setting up a directional diffuse lighting situation. You can also set up a wireless flash for your camera. That way you can have multiple light sources and have complete control over your flash photography. Your flash is limiting in that it creates a really bright area of light, sometimes really flattening out features. If you want a more diffused light setting, but you're not ready to purchase another light, you can actually create a little light diffuser that you can set right over the front of your flash. And this way, the light is softened. 